Today's Bible study is titled Complete in Christ, Beware Deceit, Part 3. Colossians 2 verses 4 to 10 speaks to the simplicity of the completeness of the gospel believer. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 death, burial resurrection of Christ, according to the scripture. But it also addresses life thereafter as well, with a warning that the believer be not deceived and thereby cheated. We've looked at verses 4 through 6 so far and in verse 6 we're instructed, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. We learn that this is walking in simple belief by grace through faith, but belief in what one might ask? Continuing, we find that this belief walk is rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Colossians 2 verse 7 Let's think about this. Just as the truth of scripture regarding salvation must be rested in, so are there many other truths awaiting the believer's consideration and rested such immovable belief as verse 7 states. Thereby being rooted, built up, and established in our faith appears to be dependent on being taught. But to what teaching does Paul refer? Well, it is his own teaching, of course. And with Paul this is always framed within the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Romans 16 verse 25 And also the associated new creation, the body of Christ, of which believers are baptized into union by the Holy Spirit at the moment of salvation. Our attitude during the process of this teaching is to be one that abounds in that teaching with thanksgiving. And it is hard to truly be thankful for a teaching that you've not made yours. Example, you've not really been taught and internalized the teaching until you can in turn articulate the teaching to others. Only then can full thanksgiving for the teaching complete. So, all of this comes back once again to rightly divided study of the word and that takes dedicated time and effort. And hopefully one senior in faith and understanding to share insights and challenges dropping pebbles in your pond in same. Certainly, Holy Spirit will guide the believer as one studies. But understanding and rightly dividing the scripture is not automatic. It requires dedicated effort. Hence Paul's statement, A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15b Example, a workman means that such study is work. Thus, the challenge believer be rooted in the word and believe Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.